the government has refused to rule in or out a deal with the opposition on the fraught issue of dealing with asylum seekers. But any deal is likely to come with strings attached. Tony Abbott is pushing a Nauru solution. Whatever the answer, there are legal hurdles ahead. Philippa MacDonald reports. It's taken 30 years for a European Commission president to visit Australia. Long overdue and we are very pleased to see you here. But the ceremony of today's visit was overshadowed. The Prime Minister is under increasing pressure to announce government policy on asylum seekers in the aftermath of last week's High Court decision and the government's own legal advice. We do need legislation to put beyond doubt offshore processing arrangements. The opposition is offering a helping hand. I am trying to make it easier for the government. I am trying to give the government uh, the option of resurrecting something from the ruins of its border protection policy. I believe if Mr Abbott is sincere about this offer, then he needs to make it very clear that he is talking about working with the government on offshore processing generally, not on his narrow solution. Immigration Minister Chris Bowen says that every option is on the table. An offshore solution is still in the government's sights. And it's still our aim is to have the impact of returning people to where they started their boat journey in an orderly fashion with the protections built in. So to say to people, don't get on the boat because you're not going to achieve anything. We're not only going to not process you in Australia or Nauru or anywhere else where you'd end up in Australia. I think that uh, the Malaysia deal was always a bad deal. Um, it was a very bad deal. Uh, but as I said, uh, I'm not in the business of ruling things in or ruling things out. I'm saying that we want to be constructive. The government is facing pressure from the Greens and the left of its own party. They want to abandon offshore processing altogether. She should not cave in to the coalition. She shouldn't say, cave in to the extreme right. She should uh, join the Greens in working out how to bring asylum seekers ashore in Australia and ensure that they're treated humanely, cheaply, quickly. Cabinet met tonight to discuss a way forward, but so far there's been no word on how the government proposes to deal with a policy that's so divisive, particularly when it comes to unaccompanied children. The High Court decision directly challenged the government's right to deport unaccompanied children. In order for unaccompanied minors to be sent to a location outside Australia, you would need legislative change. Without that legislative change, the risk you would run is that you would send a signal to people smugglers to fill boats with children and no one wants to see that. Legal experts say that amending the Migration Act won't resolve this issue because the Minister is still the legal guardian. There's no point in amending the Migration Act unless the whole issue of unaccompanied minors is also addressed because otherwise you could be faced with a situation of a case-by-case -case analysis having to be undertaken of every unaccompanied minor that would be sent offshore for processing and continuous challenges in the courts, which the government would clearly find unacceptable. With the issue still unresolved, the Prime Minister will meet with regional leaders, including the President of Nauru, tomorrow at the Pacific Islands Forum in New Zealand. Philippa MacDonald, Lateline.